Making a User Tool, Part 2, Adding Links. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires some knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. A user tool can be as simple as a collection of notes, sermons, or articles, or as powerful as an interactive course, one designed to retrieve specific information from Accordance text, tools, even files outside the program. What makes the difference? It's the number and sophistication of the hypertext links. This podcast will cover the three kinds of hypertext links and how to transform your user tool from ordinary to extraordinary. We can add three different kinds of links to our user tools. Scripture links, links to other accordance modules, and links to external or non-accordance files. Several of these have subcategories. Module links can either be text or tools, while external links can be to files on a local hard drive, a website, even an email. Each kind of link has its own specific format. Here's a convenient chart of them. A scripture link can be any properly formatted verse reference, like this one, though one must be careful not to include extraneous punctuation. Module links are always in brackets, whether they are texts or tools. A text link begins with the name of the text, followed by a comma and a space, then either a W for word search or a V for verse search, followed by a comma and a space, then the search criteria. Tool links have the name of the tool, followed by a comma and a space, then the search field, a comma and a space, and the search criteria. External links also have their own unique formats. Link to any file on your local hard drive by typing file, colon, three forward slashes, and then the file path. Link to any web page by simply typing in the URL. And link to an email address by entering mail to, colon, then the email address. We can add any of these links manually just by typing them in. However, there are often easier ways. Here's a few of them. Accordance module links can be copied right from the search window. We just search for the passage we want to cite, then right-click in the search entry box and select Copy as User Tool. When we paste it into our user tool, the link will appear correctly formatted. Here's how to add a link to a file on a hard drive. Navigate to the file in an open Finder window. Now type Command N to open another Finder window, then Command F to transform it into a Find window. Now, drag and drop the files icon onto the search entry box and it will automatically change to the file path. Copy that information, then paste it into the user tool. Oh, and don't forget to add file colon and three forward slashes before it so Accordance will know it's supposed to look for a file. Copying a URL or a link to a web page is even easier. We open our favorite browser, now navigate to our favorite web page, and select and copy the URL. Finally, paste it into the user tool. In all of these cases, we'll then have to select the link text and click Make Link or type Command L to transform it into a hypertext link. The link will then change to blue and be underlined in the edit window. And remember, we must always click Update to save the most recent changes. Well, let's make some hypertext links for ourselves in accordance. I've already started my first tool and entered the first title. It's an article on Megiddo, and you can see that I already have the text written in. What I've done in order to conserve our time together is to identify each of the places where I want to insert a hypertext link, and I've already set up a workspace with various tabs listing the links. Notice that I have mentioned in the Bible a dozen times. What I've done is to search the ESVS for Megiddo, and now I simply press the control key, copy as a user link, go back to biblical places, and enter that link just like so. Now we'll do the next link. Here in the photo guide, I searched for Megiddo, and I found there were two hits. I'm not particularly interested in the Jezreel Valley. I'm looking for the second mark, which deals with the city of Megiddo. And specifically, what I'm looking for is this picture of a gate. 
So rather than choose Megiddo as my link, what I'm going to do is to select some unique text, like so, the gate complex at Tel Megiddo. I'll press my control key and say search for that word. Notice that the field automatically changes to English content. We have the gate complex at Megiddo and it opens directly to this particular photograph. That's the link I want. So I'll copy it as a user tool link and go ahead and insert that like so. I've also noticed that Tim Bulkley at ebibletools.com has a really nice photo of this entire module. So what I'm going to do is to go to that web page which I've already selected. I'm going to click and copy that URL like this. I'll go back to Accordance and paste it in right here where I have a hyperlink identified as website. Now I'm going to go to the Anchor Bible Dictionary, select copy as a user tool link, select ABD again, and paste in the link. I have one final link here, the sermon. I'll show you where that is. I'm actually going to have to go to the finder for this one. I've located the file that I wish to link to. It's a sermon called Don't Go to Megiddo. In order to get the file path, I'm going to type Command N, so I open a new finder window, and then Command F, so it changes to the find version of that window. I'll just move it to the side so that you can see it like so. Then all I have to do is to drag the icon from this file up here into the search entry box. I'm going to copy it, then I'll return to Accordance, and I'm going to insert that right here. Remember, I have to type file, colon, and three forward slashes. Now I'm ready to make links. Some of these, as you can see, are already correctly formatted as links. I can tell they're links because they're blue and underlined. I'll go ahead and make this a user link. And then I'm going to go ahead and transform this text into make link by typing command L. And I'm going to do the same thing for this link right here. Now I'll press update. And my biblical places should show all of these hypertext links. And they do. Notice if I click on ESVS W Megiddo, it opens a new tab. And here's my search again. If I happen to tap on this, Yes, it opens that web page correctly, and it's always a good idea to make sure that your links work before you save them. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this one more time. I've noticed that as I've brought my links in, they've come in as different sizes of text. So what I'm going to do is to select the text palette, remind Accordance that I'd like all of this in 18-point text, click Update, when I go back to Megiddo, you can see that all the text is correctly formatted. That's how to add hypertext links and transform your user tool from ordinary to extraordinary. User tools make it easy to incorporate all kinds of personal information into Accordance. Research notes, sermons, course lectures, devotionals, even that book you're writing. Hypertext links make all of these much more powerful. Who knows, perhaps someday you'll even write a best-selling Accordance module. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Music